Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade chapter three, lesson eight. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So first we need to estimate. Okay, well 4.23 would just round to four. And 6.51, well that five is bigger, it's five or bigger, so it tells the six to go up. Okay, so it would go up to seven. Four plus seven, 11. Your estimate is 11, okay? Now we need to do the real math, okay? Three, oh, sorry, before we do anything, we are adding or subtracting decimals, so we need to drop our decimal straight down, okay? Now, three plus one, four, two plus five, seven, and four plus six, 10. So, 10.74, okay? All right, one more, okay? 6.8 is going to round to 7. 4.2 is going to round to 4. So again, we're going to have 7 plus 4, 11. Our estimate's 11, okay? Now, we're going to do the actual math here, okay? Now, we're going to drop our decimal down. 8 plus 2, 10, carry our 1. 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 4 more is 11. Look at that, 11 even. Okay? Now, this one's going to be a little bit tricky for you because they didn't line up their decimals, which is a goof, and because they did not, they don't have an extra digit on the top the way that they do. They don't have two places after the decimal on the top the way that they do on the bottom. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to line up our decimals. And I'm going to put a zero on the end of that 2.7 so that we have the same amount of numbers. Just because they're not lining them up doesn't mean that you can't, okay? That 2.7 is going to round to 3, and 5.3 is going to round to 5, so your estimate is going to equal 8, okay? Now we're going to do the math. So 0 plus 7, 7, oh, I didn't drop down my decimal, see guys? Okay, so 0 plus 7 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, carry the 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 5 is 8. Your actual answer is 8.07, okay? Just because they're not lining them up doesn't mean you can't, okay? All right, guys, I rewrote these. We don't have to estimate anymore, but I rewrote these so that they're on top of each other so that it's a little bit easier for us to add. So first, drop your decimal. Then you can just add. 8 plus 4 is 12. 2 down, carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. Plus 4 is 11, 11.2. Okay, same thing here. Drop the decimal first. 7 plus 8 is 15. Carry the 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. Plus 1 more is 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. Plus 5 more is 12. 12.05. Okay, you guys do 7 through 12. You totally can. I believe in you. Okay, Marcella's dog gained. Gained means you're going to be adding. 4.1 kilograms in two months. Two months ago, the dog's mass was 5.6 kilograms. What's the dog's current mass? So whatever it is, it's going to be in kilograms. Kg is kilograms. Okay. So we're going to put 4.1 and we're going to put 5.6 and we're going to see what we get. Okay. So drop our decimal. 1 plus 6 is 7. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9.7 kilograms. Okay. During last week's storm, 2.15 inches of rain fell on Monday and 1.68 inches of rain fell on Tuesday. What was the total? So we have 2.15 and 1.68. And yes, if you need to, you can absolutely use over here or you can use scratch paper wherever you feel most comfortable. Okay. First thing we're going to do is drop our decimal. 5 plus 8 is 13. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 6 is 8, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3.83, and it's being measured in inches. IN is inches. Okay? All right. We're going to go into the back, and you guys are going to take care of the lesson check. And we're going to do spiral review. Okay? It says, in the number 2,145,857, how does the digit 5 in the thousands place compare to the digit 5 in the tens place? Well, 
5,000 is how many times more than, oops, maybe I want to finish writing than, than 50, okay? Well, there's five and there's five. So 5,000, well, this has one zero and this has three zeros, okay? So if we're going to multiply 50 and get to 5,000, we have to multiply it by 100, okay? That's it, guys. Okay, 5,000 is 100 times more than 50, okay? All right. What is the value of 10 to the fifth? Well, that's the fun part because 10 to the fifth just means we're going to have five zeros. One, two, three, four, five, 100,000. Cameron or Carmen works at a pet store to feed eight cats. She empties six, or sorry, four six out cans of food into a large bowl. Carmen divides the food equally among the cats. How many ounces of food will each cat get? So, Six ounces of cans, six ounce cans, and she does four of them, okay? Then she divides that between eight cats, okay? So six times four is 24. We're going to go ahead and put that 24 in the box. Well, eight goes into 24 three times, which is 24, subtract it zero. So three ounces. OZ is ounces, okay? There are 112 students in the Hammond Middle School marching band. The band director wants the students to march with 14 students in each row for the upcoming parade. How many students, or sorry, how many rows will there be? So 112 divided by 14. Now I don't know my multiples of 14 past two, which is 28. So 42. Okay, so no shame in my game. I'm going to use my calculator for, for uh, my multiples, okay? I'm not using it for my division because I need to know how to get there. But 56 70 84, 98, and 112. So, looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 14 is 112. So, 8, this is how many rows, so 8 rows. All right, guys, that was 3.8. Come on back to 3.9. See you soon.